The original section of this house was built in the 1920s and lived in by one family until it was sold to an up-and-coming millionaire in 1991. Almost immediately additions to the house were built and the property was fully transformed from a farmhouse to a country estate. He grew his family in the home until the financial crisis of 2008, a year that his fortune disappeared almost overnight. They hung on to the home until 2009 when he declared bankruptcy. The house has sat abandoned and decaying since then. Starting off on the second floor of this one, but you would never know by looking at it. It looks almost like a living room. That's an old pull-out couch. This place looks very old. A lot of decay, seeing no vandalism yet. It looks pretty freaking cool. Let's get at it. As I said, that's an old pull-out couch from Sears. So many big windows in this one. Would have been so nice in its day. That just screams 90s. Bathroom, nice big mirror. A nice big whirlpool bathtub. Very nice, very, very nice. Whoa, Toy Story. Woody, uh, that character, I don't know. Lightyear, and then another character that I didn't know. And I'm pretty sure Dora. And yeah, quite a bit of mold. Not that much, but enough that I don't want to hang around in here. What a neat find already. Another empty bedroom. Look at that ceiling fan. Yeah, I don't think we need to come in here. It's empty and it's just mold. Head downstairs. It's a very nice paint peel going on. Here we come downstairs into a kitchen. Very large open kitchen. Countertops again, scream 90s. We got a picture here. Yeah, it's nice. Nice island here. Another bathroom off of the kitchen. Not as big, but still pretty decent. Looks like something was burnt here. Oh. Check that out. I would have had the wood burning stove here. There's the vent for it rather than a fireplace.
it's just a painting tool. I thought it was a knife. The ceiling fan's drooping. Corner cabinet, probably for the TV. Yeah, there's wires coming through. Definitely TV. Very nice. Crib, well, not even a crib. A child's bed frame. Huh. Okay, so this room has two closets. Much older ceiling fan in here. Oh, this would have been such a nice kitchen in this day. Step down here. floor had some give to it. Oh, what do we have here? Is this a hot tub? Yes it was. Or it is. It's just been taken apart. There's a hot tub room that never got finished. There's lights. Strange. Yeah, maybe they just never got it finished. Decent. Huge. I know. It's crazy people smashed everything away. Yeah. That's just like a laundry area. Yeah. Yeah. Continues going this way. Liquid level alarm system. What's that? Huh? Liquid level alarm system? I don't know, is it on? No, no. I've never seen that though. Must have just been the uh, the brand of the alarm. I don't know. <laughs> it's my guess. Wood staircase. Front door. Oh, this floor is very unlevel. Be very careful walking through here. No, I'm not walking through here at all. I just took a step and it had some give. That's where another wood burning stove would have been. Alright, I guess we're going up to the second floor. Wait, second, second floor. Look at the shape up here. Oh, look at the shape of the door. Very unique shapes in here, in this area. Small sized room, a very tall ceiling with ceiling fan. I 
And we've got another kitchen with a lot of smashed glass on the floor. Nice bench seats. Again, this wallpaper screams 90s. I had two skylights in the kitchen. That would have been nice. I'm imagining that's where all the broken glass came from. All the old wood cabinets. It looks like above this window. Yeah, they had a TV. Bathroom. Yeah. Ew. Some makeup. I can get pretty in here. I think that's it for the second floor on this side. That is so weird how it's split like that. Huge, huge house. We'll go downstairs, see if we missed anything, uh, and have a look for the basement. You know, I saw a way to the basement somewhere. Did you? Hmm? Yeah, did you see? Not over here? No, that's under. Like under the stairs storage. Could have swore I've seen a door to the basement. Oh yeah, it's over here. It's over there. Jordan, you left it? Oh, what? Yeah, there's a trap door. I know there's an actual door though. But if upstairs is split, this might be split. Oh, damn. Pull it up. Yep. <laughs> Anybody got two hands? No? I got one. Here, I'll. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, straight. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. At least the wood looks at least new on the stairs. Yeah. And a creepy little bassinet. Oh, it's a very, very short ceiling. Bird cage. Oh, this is very short. This sucks. Unless I see anything, I'm not going to go any further. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, that's creepy. I lost my nipple. Mike's dropping nipples. My nipple fell off. He didn't get a latch on. <laughs> oh, look at it. That's where the uh, electrical panel is. That's weird. That's strange. Be ready to bend over. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you, sir. Oh, you will, you will be. No, thank you, sir. This is interesting, the connection to the... Yeah, for the TV. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's another basement. Could be wrong and tripping out, but I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, not over here. Oh, 
Whoa, that floor sucks. Oh, there's a wine rack right here. I miss that. I think I'm losing my marbles. So I was almost positive that there was another basement. I'm on the hunt for the phantom basement. Jeez. I think I'm losing my mind. Okay, I guess I'm imagining things because I'm not finding another entrance to a basement. I could have swore I saw one. <sighs> it's too late at night for this. I think it's currently like 4 a.m. We've been at it for a while. We've hit quite a few spots, but what an awesome find. This place is huge. And just very, very interesting, the architecture, the two separate entrances, the two separate second floors, the, the weird low basement, and just all these, it looks like it's just add-on upon add-on upon add-on. What a cool find. You're going to have to let me know what you think, if you saw anything that I missed, and as always, I'll see you on the next adventure.